Steve, bad luck tonight. For the first 50, 55 minutes, we look pretty comfortable. Uh, suddenly they score, and then they start to look a really good side for the rest of the game. We really didn't seem to be anywhere, to be honest, in the last sort of 20 minutes or so. No, well, I said to them before, and I said they, they've been on, been on a bad run. And every time they've conceded the first goal, they found it difficult to get back in the game um, because they are an expansive side. They're good at what they do. Um, they get the first goal, then they'll go and get two, three, four. Um, I thought first half we held them well, sec start the second half and then we give a sloppy goal away where we let them run all the way across the pitch and put it in the bottom corner, unopposed and it, you can't allow that, you know, we've lost the art of defending at the minute Jim, we went on a run of four clean sheets in five games, now we've conceded six in two, you know, it's um, a lot of hard work got to go on the training ground if we're going to achieve anything this season. No Luke Allen tonight, um, what, what was that? No, dead leg. Um, Thought we'd get through the fitness test, it fouled it. Alex Crofy's ankle, um, again another one that was touch and go, um, but he, he couldn't, couldn't get through. Um, but the other boys coming, Andre got his first first start, you know, albeit yes, maybe a bit rusty, but showed with his shot there, you know, and I said we've got to test the keeper at half time, test the keeper, because he's only a young lad and uh, we've done it once I think, um, we've hit the post. But like you say, once they've got one in front, then we're chasing the game and it's good for them because they like that bit of space where they can run into and cause problems. And they certainly did that to great effect, didn't they, the last 20 minutes or so? Yeah, with sides side like that that play that way, you know, they're going to hurt you and, and they were very good at it. I'm not going to knock them. Um, but if you keep them nil-nil and you get a goal, then all of a sudden the game, game, game plan changes where you catch them on the break. But listen, we've lost. It's two and two now. Um, we've got eight to play, and we've got a lot of work to do. And uh, we've got, got to pick them troops up in there, um, dust them down, and, and we go again at Staines, which is another massive, massive game, but a hard, hard game. You know, Drax has them working hard, playing well, and uh, these last eight games is not an easy one. So, like I say, it's um, hard work on Thursday. Pick yourselves up and go again Saturday. New keeper tonight. He did quite well, didn't he? I thought. I mean, certainly not to blame for either of the two goals. No, no, it had no, no chance with the goals. Um, thought he made a couple of saves. Um, uh, yeah, no, very pleased to have him. You know, I'm a bit down at the minute. Um, terrible journey here. Yes. Um, I was going to ask about that. Like, I know you won't make the excuse, but it's it's hardly conducive no, to been, good that, football when, when you're delayed. Jim, they've been hanging hour. about a while as well. Don't get me wrong, but like I say, we've had a long journey. Um, but listen, that ain't why we lost. Let's get right. We lost because we didn't defend properly. Um, and we need to get back to that. We need to get back to making that the be all and end all, keeping a clean sheet, making sure we put our bodies on the line and um, get back to winning ways. We've got to do it sharpish, otherwise everyone's going to be catching us. Yeah, interesting results tonight. I think Billericke lost. So uh, <laughs> it shows you that you know anyone seems to be capable of beating anyone else. There's still a lot of football to be played and, and there'll be some ups and downs and we're having a bit of a doubt. Yeah, exactly. You know, at least that's, that's their first win in six, I think. You know, so But they're still there or thereabouts. They've got a few games to catch up. Dulwich have got a few games to catch up. Um, we've got the points in the bag at the minute, so we're, we're hoping that they slip up in their games in hand. But I say I'm more interested in us turning our fortunes around. You know that that result on Saturday after tonight has hurt us even more than we expected. And um, like I say, that that 45, 50 minutes in the second half Saturday has really killed us. Definitely. Okay, Steve. Well, thanks very much indeed for coming out and talking to us, and we'll see you all on Saturday on stage. Cheers, Jim.